Hi guys, so my midwife appointment yesterday <clears throat> on my due date. Uh, I wasn't too bad, my heart rate was good, my blood pressure was good. Um, from doing the abdominal uh, examination thingo, she said that um, she can, I think she said she can barely feel any head. <clears throat> so she's dropped down even lower in my pelvis. And she also said that um, like when she tries to jiggle her head, because she's so far down in my pelvis, that when she's moving, instead of just her head moving, you know, freely sort of in there, my whole body moves because she's so low in my pelvis, if that makes sense. Um, so she said she's lower than minus two, but not out of minus one yet. Uh, she did another cervix check. And this time, um, it still wasn't painful, but it was a little bit more discom uh, a little bit more uncomfortable than the other two were. <clears throat> um, she said that I'm really, really soft, and I'm about one and a half centimeters dilated, and 50% effaced. So it's not it's not a lot of progress, but it is still. Um, progress nonetheless so that's good. Uh, she also said that it was anterior I think she said so it's um, coming forward at the front or something so she basically said that um, not only is she shocked that I'm this far sort of that my cervix is this far along <clears throat> considering it's a second baby but she also said that it is um, very ripe for a membrane to break the waters so <clears throat> so that is really good because my induction is booked for July 19th so if she hasn't been born by July 18th <clears throat> uh, at 8 o'clock July 19th are going to be induced and they are going to break my waters and if that doesn't work there's a possibility that I could um, try being induced with, I don't know what she called it, but it's a drip in my hand. <clears throat> so, yeah, we'll just wait and see. Still got, what, another about a week and four days before that. So, anything could happen between um, now and then. But um, on the 18th of July, I'm also having an ultrasound and... Um, the um, non-stress test just to make sure uh, that the blood flow through the cord is good, um, you know, that she's looking healthy, just to make sure everything's uh, still going well. <coughs> uh, she also said that basically my cervix has done pretty much all it can on its own and now for it to go any further or to have any more, you know, of a bigger change. Uh, I need the contractions to do that, so just waiting for contractions to start, and then I'll dilate more, and yeah, and then everything will happen. Unless that doesn't happen by July 18th, then in which case I will be induced. Uh, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, <coughs> I suppose I'll add into this. Um, this morning, so it might. Um, appointment was yesterday and I had the cervix check yesterday and this morning I actually lost some of my mucus plug so that was pretty exciting um, it could be because of the check it could be because you know I'm at my due date and it's just time for her to come but who knows it could be anything I bounced on the yoga ball last night so it could have been that could be anything but the point is that I lost some of it and um, that means something's happening down there so pretty happy with that. Um, I've been waiting to see that damn mucus plug for weeks. It wasn't all of it, um, it was just, well I don't know how much it was because obviously I've never lost it before but um, it's a decent amount and I've lost like little bits throughout the day <coughs> so yeah. But not the whole plug yet. Oh, and there wasn't any blood in it or anything. It just looked like it's not.
Oh, egg white. So we can make it. Um, yeah, so that's it for midwife appointment. And maybe I'll see you for week 41 pregnancy. Maybe I won't. Um, I'm having another midwife check next Thursday. So when I'm 41 weeks exactly. And, um, yeah, that's it. See ya.